Glastonbury is like, it's like having an orgasm on satin sheets. <laughs> and Lovebox? And Lovebox is like having an orgasm on a refrigerator. <laughs> I'm loving the analogies. Hi everyone, you're watching Westside TV. I'm your host today, Samuel Eni, and I'm here at Lovebox, day two. Got some extraordinary acts on the way, and I'm hoping to get some backstage exclusive interviews for you guys. Every time I let loose, I'm here with the main man, Mr. Tiggs, the author. How you doing? I'm all good. good. All good, my brother. All, good. all blessed. How you doing? I've got a serious question I want to ask What's you. What's that? And I need you to be honest with me. Yeah. When did you decide that you wanted to pursue a career in music? Um, because it seems like you've been doing it. No, nah, when I was in school, I thought, ah, you know what, I need, I need a way of getting girls. I need that. Because <laughs> obviously, I wasn't like, man's not a liar, you know. <laughs> so I thought, ah, you know what, let me just start rapping because all my friends used to rap. Okay. So I thought, ah, why not do it? Okay. So I done that and literally just kept going from then. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Done Glastonbury. Yeah. Done Love Box. That's ticked off the list. How do you prepare for festivals? Because I'm assuming it's a different preparation as if you was going to prepare for a club. Of course, of yeah. course, of course. To be fair, I don't do too many like club dates only because I like to give people like the live experience. Yeah. But I just try and chill out as much as I can. Yeah. I don't want to think about it too much because yeah. we already know, we've already rehearsed with the band and everything. Yeah. So I just get myself in a zone and then from there on, Vibe with the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crowd. That's it. And they take to your reception as well. They yeah, 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 yeah. What's I performed like? today. Today was sick. Yeah? Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Runs out now. And yeah. You did, that's the track with Lady Lee Shaw. How was the chemistry like working with her? Is she someone that you've worked yeah. with before? Or? Yeah, she's my babes from a long time. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Me and Lee, she used to make music from years ago. Okay. Years ago. And we've kind of always kept that connection. And so when I made run, I thought, oh, this, she'll be sick on this. Yeah. Got her to come down and yeah, she just killed it. Sweet, sweet. Run's been featured on Fever 2016 and Rugby World Cup. How was you feeling when you found out and when the news got announced to you? What that was you is, feeling? That is nuts, because with like FIFA, yeah, because yeah. obviously, come on, we all play FIFA. <laughs> come on. Like the guys, yeah. <laughs> so it was like a sick, sick mm. one, because I know all my brethren are going to hear that. Mm. And with the rugby, most of my friends don't really watch rugby, but obviously I told them, because it's TV, it's a exactly. TV advert. Of course. So that was so sick. I remember the first time yeah. when it came on, and I was like, it's mad, <laughs> mad. What team you support? Man United. Yes. There we go. No, innit? You're loving the new season. You know, next season's gonna be mad. It's gonna be mad, isn't it? Trust me. <laughs> I'm here with Jody Abacus, who just smashed the stage. How's it, how does it feel? It was amazing, yeah. considering the circumstances. Uh, my keyboard player wasn't here because his wife went into labor uh -huh. the day before. But it was it was nice. It was really good. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah the energy the energy was nice. People were singing the songs and yeah. I think you wrote a lot of songs about exes leaving you. What's it? No, <laughs> that's not exactly true. Oh, about relationships. Like, no, no, no. There's a, there's a, there's there's one song in there specifically talking about how to get over pain. Yeah. All you have to deal with is the pain. Yeah. Um, and one specifically talking about dreaming about being in a previous relationship mm, exactly. and waking up out of the yes. dream, thinking like smelling her, kissing her, being next to her in bed and then waking up and realizing that it's, it's actually just a real nightmare. <laughs> like consecutive dreams, reoccurring dreams. Yeah. That's what I kept having. So I just wanted to just piss it okay, down the toilet. Cool. Really. What is it about being an artist that you enjoy so much? Telling the truth, telling my stories, uh, gigging, telling them to people, mm -hmm. uh, making people feel happy, and making people, making people's emotions. Uh, you know, you get up in the morning, you're in a bad mood, you hear a song. You know, it's, it, music has a powerful effect on people, and you could change someone, or change someone's opinion, their mind state, for wherever they are in the world. You know, and you can write that from the comfort of your home, home, and change people's lives. How does it feel touring? What's your what's I your feeling? Yeah. I feel odd when I'm not when I'm at home. No. I feel odd when I'm at home. It feels like I, I come home, I sit on the, I sit on the couch, and I'm like, 
<laughs> That's pick up the thing, probably put the Xbox. It's the only thing, the Xbox and cleaning my flat is that yeah. I love to do. Sometimes I purposefully leave dishes inside this side. It feels like someone lives there. Because I live there by myself. But when I'm when I'm there, it's like um, yeah, it's awesome. But being on tour is 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 uh, is incredible. Knowing that I get the opportunity to sing the songs that I wrote from my heart yeah. and give it to the people. Sing about me. Sing my lows as well as victories. Craft my wrong and teach my history. Craft just how they remember me. I'm Anna Baxin, Anna Gort, Anna Quarters. I'm all naked by my court, so I must be. Trust me. Mr. Hi. Koji Radio. Hey, hey, hi. Doing? I'm all right, I'm chilling. Energy, yeah. levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, was your yeah. performance? It was amazing, man. I had fun. It was my last festival of this season, and Lovebox treated me like family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, you did Glastonbury as well. Yeah. What would you say is the difference between the two? Glastonbury is like, it's like having an orgasm on satin sheets. <laughs> and Lovebox. And Lovebox is like having an orgasm on a refrigerator. <laughs> I'm loving the analogies. I'm they're, like, they're like the same thing, but yeah. one's a little bit more comfortable, and the other one's a bit like, oh, we're living in the moment. Ooh. So this, you said this was your last festival yeah. that you're doing? Yeah. Any more Not ever. Oh, obviously, come on, yeah. come on. Come yeah. on. What, are we, what do we expect from you next? Um, I've got a headline show in September, September 22nd at Jazz Cafe. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I might just drop an album again. I like the way you just dropped that as if it was just Kaz. Like, I might just drop an album. Yeah. It depends on what I'm doing yeah. this week. Depends how you feel it. <laughs> I listen, I think I saw... Um, a music video with you and JP Cooper. How did that collaboration come about? Um, I've known JP for ages, and um, he like he had all of his successes. He went over to Ireland, and um, Ireland, the whole Ireland team's fam as well. Yeah. So they literally hit me up. I came through. He gave me a call, told me exactly what he wanted from the verse. I went through and laced it. We linked up again at the video shoot, and it was just always it was always love. Like it's been love, and it's still love. So. Yeah, it was a dope collaboration, man. The people are really receiving it well. Damn, what would you like to achieve before the end of this year? Try and get police to stop killing niggas. I think that's, that's, I think that's enough said. Black Lives Matter. Thank you very much. Black Lives you. Matter. Peace. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Yeah. Absolutely the best. Thank yeah, you so yeah, much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peace out. <laughs> hey, bro, love you. Catch you later. Yeah? Yeah, no Let's make some noise! That was fun.